Hey everybody, it's Luke over Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got an LED projector. This is from ADB Tech. Uh, you can pick this guy up on Amazon for $95.99, which is an excellent price for this LED projector. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check that out, uh, and I will leave a link for uh, ADB Tech's other products so that you can check those out as well. Uh, going around on the box, we do have some specifications here. I'm going to try to get in uh, close on this so that you guys can see uh, what they've got going on here. Uh, it supports uh, the formats that it supports uh, in audio will be MP3, WMA, uh, AUG, ACC, FLAC, APE, and WAV files. Picture files is PEG, uh, PNG and BMP uh, video full format support. They don't exactly go over what um, formats it'll actually play, but we've played back some AVI files and some MP4 files and had no problems there. Uh, and it does have text file support. Uh, now there are some uh, HD uh, formats they've got here. They've got 567p, 480p, 720, 1080, um, 640 by 480, 800 by 600, and it keeps going on and on and on, all the way up to 1680 by 1050. So as I will leave this up, and if you want to uh, pause it, you can check those out for yourself. Uh, under the VGA connection, uh, it goes from 640, 800 by 600, 1024 by 768, all the way up to 1680 by 1050. So it does have the uh, AV input, uh, the VGA input. It has a USB for either an external USB drive or a USB stick. It does have a, an a, uh, SD card slot as well and an earphone output. So if you wanted, it has speakers on it. Uh, they're not super powerful, uh, but if you did want to plug in earphones, you could do that or even external speakers to kind of make up your own theater sound. Uh, so uh, very uh, cool and versatile uh, mini LED projector from ADB Tech. Uh, they do have some more specs on the other side. Uh, it's TFT LCD. Uh, the brightness is 1000 lumens. The contrast is 1000 to 1. Uh, the native resolution is 800 by 400 or an 80. Uh, the supported resolution is 920 by 1080. So we will do 1080p. Uh, the light is obviously LED. The lifespan is estimated 30,000 hours. Um, they've got um, focus mode is manual operation. They've got a multi-chip coated lens and uh, the, the F equals uh, 125 on that. Projection distance is one to four meters. Basically, uh, you cannot get a picture out of this unless you're at least 3.3 feet back. Uh, we did some testing on that, and that'll put it up as maybe like a you know a 30 inch, 32 inch TV, and you can go all the way back and and, and make it uh, very very large on the space that you're going to use. Projection ratio uh, is uh, 1.4 to 1. Aspect ratio is 16 by 10. Color uh, uh, 16.7K. Uh, manual correction, all this other stuff I'll leave up here. Uh, again, they do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone, uh, USB at 5 volt output. Uh, the inputs are USB, SD card, VGA, HDMI, and AV. Uh, and it is a 50 watt consumption max. Uh, it does have 23 languages that it supports and the unit size is 188 by 146.5 by 54 millimeters and it only weighs uh, 0.93 kilograms. So let's get into this look at the build quality here. Show you guys what comes in the box. Uh, this guy uh, surprised us. We thought, you know, okay, hey, here's a, a LED projector that is you know, 95 bucks, you know, it can't uh, do too much, but we found that this guy actually, uh, for being the size that it is, projects a great image and uh, plays a, a, a wide variety of different um, formats. Uh, the fact that you can put an, uh, a USB stick into it or an SD card into it or uh, a lot of the other things that they offer on here is excellent for this product. Uh, they do include a, uh, 
an AV cable, uh, an all-in-one AV cable. So if you do want to hook uh, up a DVD player or something like that with an all-in-one AV player, uh, or you've got this all-in-one connection and you'll be able to hook that up, no problem. So that's awesome that they put that in there. Um, there's like a little QC, you know, that is quality passed. Uh, a user guide here and you do get a remote control because on the back of this there is an LED or um, an IR I'm sorry that you can use and this will give you easy to uh, mute your uh, player you can get your input your menus you can do all that you can do that right from the player itself too but uh, it's a lot easier with this now they don't provide you any batteries you'll have to put your own batteries in that uh, and they do give you a uh, basic two prong uh, power adapter here for your to power this guy on and they give us a nice user guide here as well and I'm going to go over the user guide real quick and then we'll show you kind of the build quality of the actual projector itself now on the user guide uh, they go over uh, the inter interface here, uh, the buttons and what they do. And as you can see on this guy, you'll have the ADB Tech logo. This is your lens here with your lens cap. Uh, and then you'll have uh, a few line of buttons here. You're going to have an input button. This is going to change whether you're uh, actually accessing your VGA on the back. There's your IR port for your remote control. You've got your... Uh, headphone jack your uh, all-in-one AV jack here you've got an, a full-size SD card so if you have a micro SD card you just need to have the adapter full-size SD you've got USB um, and USB out uh, 5 volts here and a full HDMI uh, to hook in to uh, you know if you needed to go HDMI in from your device that you're going to use as well now on the bottom they've got some nice feet here and they actually have a little uh, screw in here that you can actually screw in a leveler and the leveler is probably still in the box nope actually it's right here and this leveler uh, will just basically screw right into the bottom here and you can level out this guy uh, at pretty much whatever angle you might need it uh, to uh, project it to whatever you're going to project it to so you've got these buttons on the top. I did want to go over those. Uh, you can use these arrow keys to uh, navigate the menu. There's an OK button here and there's a power uh, button there. Very nice case on this. It's kind of like a textured plastic. Uh, not a lot of fingerprints on this because of the texturing, which is very cool. Um, the build quality is very light. Uh, there's some fan outputs on the back and on the bottom uh, right hand side as well uh, as as well as the bottom uh, on the bottom you do have a uh, power voltage 100 to 240 volts and then uh, just some LED light source and, and lamp specifications there but nothing uh, major as far as uh, branding goes except for on the front where you have the ADB tech logo so nice clean finish on this guy there is this little slot here has an LED light that will come up that shows you that everything is uh, running and when it is reading from say like an SD card or your USB stick it will blink to show you that there is activity uh, being done by the projector itself so back to the manual again they give you a, a page here that shows you everything on your remote control um, plugging in the power on that guy again here's that little led light that will come up uh, so pretty well laid out um, instruction manual all in english they'll show you the focus ring which i'll show you in just a second uh, you can there's two actual focus rings here uh, one is for the full focus as you can see you pop this guy out to manual focus uh, and you can focus in from whatever distance you are and then you have uh, trapezoidal uh, as well so you can actually change the angle uh, forward and backwards with this secondary ring so very cool uh, depending on what kind of surface you're going to put this guy on uh, you will uh, have uh, those two adjustments there and they are manual uh, again they'll go over the connection uh, you can do you know your HDMI and all the stuff that we've gone over as well and uh, and a few other things on the back as far as inputs uh, the supported formats again that we went over um, already uh, so they give you a full range uh, here in this guide, which is well laid out by ADB Tech. So again, 
uh, you'll want to hold on to that. Uh, we're going to show you guys some uh, footage that we took uh, with this guy playing, and then we'll come back to the review, and we hope you guys enjoy that. Okay, so as you saw that the footage there, that was very nice, very clear. It was just a trailer that we uh, downloaded and put on our SD card. Um, and uh, overall, we're very impressed with this guy for a sub-100 price point. Uh, this was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have any questions or comments about this guy, please leave them in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video. I'm going to go to the next one.